tell me about um, your cooperation with the European Endowment for Democracy, the key highlights of the way you've worked mm -hmm. with us. The first time I met uh, people from European Endowment for Democracy, it was uh, December last year, December 2013. We met at Maidan, and then we started our fruitful cooperation. And ED was one of the uh, organizations that supported uh, reanimation package of reform reforms. The civil society and um, organizations that united different think tanks, uh, representatives, experts in one big team with the key idea to support uh, government, presidential administration, parliament in uh, changing the country. Um, and then a very interesting case that you've moved from being a civil society actor to a political actor. Um, so, and the question is, how has that changed your perspective? I remember my meeting uh, with European parliamentaries uh, uh, in uh, August uh, 2014. Uh, together with another activist, we were criticizing the Ukrainian parliament for um, being so slow with uh, passing uh, legislation in key spheres like anti-corruption, judiciary system reforms, law enforcement. And one MP from European parliament told us, you have to go to the politics because uh, you could be more effective being MP than civic experts. And I said, no, we are not ready. Uh, we understand that you are afraid of uh, politics and you don't want to take the shame of politics, but you have to take the responsibility. And uh, of course, uh, we participated in uh, pre-term parliamentary elections. And now I can say that all my experience that I uh, earned in civil society uh, now is very helpful plus uh, all connections with think tanks group uh, is helping to prepare the legislation, to advocate for legislation. And uh, I think that civil society, on the one hand, they have to control um, government, uh, MPs. Uh, on the other hand, they have to be a partners who advise, who propose, who strengthen our position, and to help us advocate the changes in the parliament. Thank you very much.